Methusium Souffle, Methusium Souffle, didn't I tell you that I'd figure out how to say the title right? Although I probably did the first time, Methusium Souffle, that was pretty much close to it, wasn't it? Anyway, hello there, Criterion Night here, number 448, Jean-Pierre Melville's Methusium Souffle. Nailed it. I'm so good at that. Anyway. 1966, 144 minutes. Actually, it's 150 minutes. I don't know where the hell Criterion got off saying it was 144 minutes. It ran for two and a half friggin' hours that long. Goodness gracious. Uh, black and white, Monroe French, one little bit of the rest. <sighs> yeah, so, um, Le Deuxième Souffle, meaning, uh, I guess, in this case, a second wind, or second breath, or, you know, Souffle is like air, so it's like, um, an, uh, an air again. It's like the Dusiam is like maybe the second second air or something. So like literal title, I would think. Um, but anyway, so this is a so this one's not bad. Um, I would say probably. No, it's not. Oh, I gotta be honest with you. It's not as good as Ledu. Um, I think the plot is a lot more, a lot, uh, way more confusing than. Um, than the than, than the Dulu. Um, it's not as fun, not as fun to look at. And I mentioned that um, Melville makes really good looking movies, and I agree. I still agree with this movie. I still agree that he makes a good looking movie with this one. Um, and uh, yeah. So anyway, we um, yeah. So we have another good looking movie, but one that I couldn't get into as much as. The other ones, um, mostly just because again, I think I think the length of the movie um, was was detrimental to how it works overall, um, and so because of that, I I had a hard time following it. Um, I think oh, there are a lot of characters, um, probably probably as much as as many characters as Le Doulou, um, but. I think the plot is a little more convoluted. I mean, personally, um, it's again just like the others. It's about you know robbery, and um, well, it's about uh, it's got the great Lena Ventura. He's he's fantastic. He plays a guy, a criminal named Wu, who breaks out of prison and decides to try and pull one last robbery, um, getting involved with some guys, and they're hijacking this um, this armored car full of uh, platinum bars. And they end up, you know, they end up successfully doing it, uh, but they end up killing two of the uh, the guards, the policemen, and and so Gu ends up trying to change the rules and get it so that he can clear his name um, from everything he did. And um, I'm not going to spoil the rest of it because again, it was hard to understand. But I will tell you this: it's a very, very 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 con it's confusing but also said it's very but that means it's just it's very very complex and I will say this the ending is right up there with um, with uh, uh, Sanjuro the final there's a gunfight at the end I don't want to spoil much but there's a gunfight at the end that pretty much rivals the um, the ferocity of the end of Sanjuro of Akira Kurosawa Sanjuro um, so if you're a fan of that movie, you're gonna you're gonna dig. It's worth it just for that last the last like ten minutes of the movie. Um, and that's all really I have to say. Um, again, this is a it's not a bad movie, but it's definitely damn confusing. Um, it's I think I think something I think and it's hard to it's hard for me to not compare this to Le Doulou because we just watched that movie. Um, so. Yeah, I, I, I have nothing, you know, I can compare it to his other movies like Army of Shadows or, um, or Class 2 Risk or, um, or the other movies, uh, or yeah, Bob Le Flambeur. Um, but I feel like, you know, and I, it's funny, and, but you can't compare it to something because other movies like Les Enfants Terribles. And it's funny just to think about, like, how he kind of got pegged, you know, into a kind of crime director. You know, Les Enfants, Les Enfants Terribles um, isn't really a crime gangster movie in any sense. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's like somewhere along the way, I think, I mean, I think it must have been with Bob Le Flambert, 
Um, he just he's kind of kicked things off for his own for the rest of his career. Um, and, and and he mentions Rafifi a lot, and I think um, he might have been inspired by. Um, oh gosh, I forgot who directed Rafifi. Gosh, I, uh, gosh, that that sucks. It really sucks. I forgot who directed Rafifi. Um, and now I have to look it up because I can't remember. Dasin, yeah, Jules Dasin, of course, the man. Um, but anyway, uh, Le Douce Mes Souffle, a great movie. Leo, Leo, Lino Ventura is fantastic. Um, but again, the plot, I think, again, the, the running time is a little, gives it a little too much. Um, they were, I think, Melville was able to tell a better story in a shorter time than with a longer time in this particular instance. For that reason, I'm going to give this movie a B plus. Um, the ending is fantastic, and Ventura is fun in his own way, in, you know, in a Ventura kind of way. It's fun to watch, but the movie does drag and confuse quite a bit throughout the movie. So for that reason, it's a B plus. Uh, supplements. Um, there's a new interview with uh, Bernard Tavernier, and um, two supplements, a short uh, newsreel featuring uh, Melville and Ventura on the set of the movie as well as a 25-minute um, French television program uh, featuring Melville and showing how he works in the trailer, and that's about it. So, Le Douce Mes Soufflé, B+, not Melville's finest, but there are moments in this that make it all the worthwhile. I'd check it out at least once, although twice if you're going for plot. So, that's it for me. Uh, that's it for today. Um... Just as a quick programming note, I forgot to upload Le Doulou until today, which I hope, which today, the 19th, I did. I shot it last night on the 18th, on March 18th. Um, in fact, I'm going to go and open up YouTube as I speak so I can upload both these. So you're going to get both the Melville supplements simultaneously, although I did them separate days. I just, you know, I like to tell you that, guys. That's kind of stuff. So anyway, tomorrow, missing. Costa Garbus. Wednesday, Bob Warlock, Anderson. And then, uh, man, Misaguchi is coming. Uh, I just put a hold on the next two Criterion movies, uh, Fan Fan La Tulipe, uh, The Spy Who Came In From The Cold. And as you all know, um, Chunking Express is still sitting on my hard drive. I shot it back in January, and I'll upload that one probably the same day. Um, or maybe even on a day that I know I can't do a review, I'll upload it whenever. Um, I just have to look at my schedule and see when it all works out, because I do want to see where, I can, where the next Eclipse series is and all that good stuff. I think we, we've got a couple of criterions to do before I get to the next Eclipse series, or before the Eclipser does, rather. Um, so anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, don't be a stool pigeon. Don't be a squealer. Um, and don't kill cops on guns, on, on uh, motorcycles. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you. So, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow for Missing. And until then, goodbye.